Good morning, guys. Right there, parts of Alaska on the Lower Peninsula. We're about six hours out from getting to Icy Point. Do you ever think about it? How people fall in love. It's not the way that they look. That's from movies and books. It's a feeling that creeps inside. It ain't the fact. We just arrived here in Icy Point Strait. And here in Icy Port, we didn't take an excursion. We're just gonna go wander around. And we're gonna take the telecabin over there. It goes over to like a lookout point. And then there's this one, which is called the Mountaintop Gondola. That one's $50 to take. And takes you up to the top of the mountain where there's a hiking trail and some other really neat things to see. And it is also where the zip lines are. And that zip line is the longest known zip line in the world. It's right at a mile long. You tell me something about you. And the places on your back that you say need surgery. A kiss and say. Today we're in Juneau, Alaska. We're gonna see how much we can fit in today. Of course, we're gonna always try to do way too many things. We are going to see the glacier. And then we are dog going sliding camp. Dog sliding. I can't wait to see and play with the huskies. And then hopefully we have enough time to take a little walking tour of the downtown Juneau area. So stay with us and check out our video. Today. You don't have to hide them. Tell me something about All right, we just got here to the Mendenhall Glacier Visitor Center where the bus drops us off. It's actually a really good bus drive. The bus driver was really good, gave us a great little tour and explanation of Juno and all the sights you can see on the way up. There it is, the first little peak we have of Nugget Falls. So this is Nugget Waterfall, and it is impressive. Maybe not the largest waterfall I've seen, but well worth the short hike out here to the Mendon Hall, by the Mendon Hall Glacier to come see it. got back off the ship after relaxing for a second we're ready for the middle part of the day I guess we're going on a dog sledding summer camp adventure most of these dogs actually come up here for training in the summer and we are basically their extra weight they get to pull around <laughs> lucky them <laughs>
just finished up the second half of our day, the dog summer camp sledding, which was a ton of fun. It was an excursion we had booked off the ship. It was $189 a person. Really expensive, but a really good fun time. So if you want to have a chance to do it, I would recommend it, but it is expensive for what you get. So now we're on to the third part of our day, which is we're going to go take the telecabin up to the top of Mount Robertson. We did a lot of stuff today. Good morning guys from Skagway, Alaska. Today we're gonna to take the Skagway train. We just got off the bus. We're at our next stop. It's called Liarsville. It's a good barbecue. So this is our buffet lunch. There was chicken and potatoes and salad and coleslaw and of course your grilled salmon fresh off the grill. That does it for our time here in Skagway. Today is day six for the Carnival Spirit. Today we are sailing the Tracy Arm Fjord. It is absolutely breathtaking out here. Unbelievable. 